when there's a big event, a big FUD event, okay? Capitulation, uh, Japan, yen carry, you know what I mean? Like all these big events. When that big event thing happens, okay, I know the 9 millimeter guys who bought the tip, <laughs> congratulations on your 10x fast, but it's actually, it's not optimal for the average person to rush into those. You need to do more research, right? You can't just auto buy. You can't. It's too, it's too dangerous, okay? But what you can do is look near the asset that's gone down and you buy something that got sent down with it because you know everything's down because of one soy boy, okay? One soy boy issue. But you're like saying to yourself, okay, this thing is cheap. Like, why are you down? Like, for example, dick with butt has nothing to do with nine millimeter, nothing to do with uh, uh, that at all. For instance, a meme coin on there. Uh, what they did, what someone did was a soy boy dumped it down 25, 30%. See that? It dumped down 4, 37% on that. Bang. Okay, dumped down 40%. So that's where potential opportunity arises. If you can find something, oh, it's not financial advice, but if you can find something that's gone down with everything else, and you're like, wait a minute, that's not part of the issue, all right? It's a meme coin. It's a meme coin. It's got a community. It's got a telegram. Oh, there's all these other friends as well, you know? So, but I'm just giving you an idea. So in the Japan yen carry, obviously, in Japan and everything's just getting destroyed. I guess a good buy would have been, you know, crypto. You're like, oh, crypto's going down, but that's Japan. But it, it, friends, it gets hard because you never truly find something that's like in the clear that shouldn't go down. Unless it's a rare occasion. But sometimes it happens, man. Sometimes that, that will happen where you're like, why, why is this thing down for the day, right? Um, and those are the best buying opportunities because they shouldn't be there because they only artificially went down. And if you, if you look at Pika on Pulse Chain, friends, this is Pika on Pulse Chain. You see how this is the daily chart. So I think it went down a bit, right? 17, 20, 25%, but it's not as much as what you saw with Dick with Bite. Dick with Bite went down 40. Now, don't stress too much on these, but the, the important thing to grab from this is a concept, okay? Because... I'm not joking. This thing will make you life-changing wealth over the long run. I'm not, I'm not even kidding. If you have sideline money, friends, because there's always a market explosion every year, every one or two years. It's just that, can you buy the thing that shouldn't have gone down, okay? That is what you're ultimately looking for. You're looking for something that's not there and then everything ha everything's basically uh, pooped itself, okay? And those have usually the fastest bounce backs, the biggest runs up, run up forward. And then you really got to think, man, if you're going straight to the source, be careful, man, be careful. It's the thing that everybody else is looking at. And there's just, there's so much cell pressure, right?